seen a video yesterday, I think it was by one little coder on YouTube, in which, uh, it, uh, in which he discussed about detecting fake or AI generated text. Now, in this case, we're talking about, or he was talking about ChatGPT uh, detecting whether or not the text was being um, generated by ChatGPT or not. And for that uh, purpose, uh, he used Roberta based OpenAI detector. Now, this Roberta based OpenAI detector is actually a language model. So at the base, stands Roberta Base, which is, um, I think it was developed by Facebook. So developed by OpenAI Associated Paper. So Roberta, I think Roberta, if we go to, this doesn't matter, but we can just uh, trace it back to origins. So we can see, let's actually look at the GitHub repo. So GPT output data set. So this is by OpenAI. If we go back and look at the Roberta base, Roberta base, if we look at the GitHub, I think it was by, yeah, so it was Facebook research. Now going back to the detector. So this has been, uh, this is another language model uh, obtained by fine-tuning a Roberta-based model with the outputs of GPT-2. So this is a GPT-2 output detector, but it seems to be working really good on ChatGPT and GPT-3.5. So let's actually put that to test. And for the sake of actually saving time, I've already implemented or I've already done a generation in playground in GPT 3.5. I switched the temperature to 0.5 and the maximum length to 500 and I left the rest of the parameters of the model by default. What is an efficient method for implementing encryption on Android apps? Now we can do that with the chat GPT as well. And then we're going to use the detector. So Roberta base has the detector on the hosted API interface here on Hugging Face. And Hugging Face is actually amazing for a lot of AI related stuff. So you might want to check it out. And they also have um, another hosted instance, which is over there. So explore the detector model here, which is over here. All right, so let's see. There are several effective methods for implementing encryption on Android apps. And of course, the focus of this video is to see how we can bypass this detection. Let's actually copy paste this. We can either paste it here in the inference, but uh, the output is gonna be like un ununderstandable by many uh, who are not in, um, who are not familiar with um, AI language. So if we compute this again, we get a label zero 100%. This actually means uh, I think label zero is for false and label, label one is for true. Now we can actually see that because this is basically the same implementation as here. We can just uh, paste the entire text here and it's 99.98% fake. Let's see what uh, GPT uh, 3.5, which is sort of like a little bit different than ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a version of GPT 3.5 optimized for dialogue. Now, uh, and of course, as I said in uh, the previous video on ChatGPT, uh, ChatGPT is really conservative in its answers. So it sometimes wouldn't answer while those restrictions are not, uh, applied here in uh, GPT 3.5, but still, I think OpenAI can see whether or not if you're abusing the language and making it generate um, sort of like offensive output. Now let's copy this, paste it over here, and we get 99.97% fake. Let's also paste it in here and we get still 100%. So basically it's it's the same thing. Let's let's delete compute. Let's actually see that actually works. If we compute, I've changed the output and it actually changed the uh, prediction. Now, that being said, let's also take a text 
So I've Google searched for implementing encryption in Android apps and I actually looked at, let's look at this one, see whether or not th these folks uh, have, uh, I'm randomly picking stuff. So let's see if this text is fake or not, is generated by AI or not. And if we click on compute, it says label one, which is true, which actually means that this text has not been generated by AI. We can double check that in here. So real 99.97%. So these guys are legit. Now that being said, let's actually take this uh, GPT 3.5 text again and see whether or not we can sort of like bypass the detector. So how would you actually bypass the detector? If you know how language models work, roughly speaking, one of their uh, features is like predicting the next token or the next, you cannot actually say a token is a word, but sort of like you can approximate roughly speaking. So the idea is that it works by predicting the next token or the next word. Now, uh, this one has been, uh, Roberta, the detector has been trained with the outputs of GPT-2, the one with 1.5 billion parameters. Now, to actually bypass this, you would have to sort of like come up or inject something inside the text that would not be predictable, so to speak. Let's say, for example, that in this situation here, use storage, um, for example, if after this semicolon, I add a forward slash, we can see that the detector detects it only as 68% or 69% fake, because the model, the Roberta or GPT, would not predict or would not come up with forward slash after semicolon. So for example, I've noticed in my experimentation that forward slash actually slashes uh, the detector, so to speak. If I add, add another forward slash here, you can see that 2.27% fake and this text is real. But for someone who actually reads this for a human eye, who is aware of how uh, AI language or AI language models work would see that this is not natural and maybe think that this was some sort of manipulated in a way or another so as to trick something. Maybe someone who reads this and is aware of AI language models would tell whether or not um, this has been manipulated to trick a fake detector. What are other alternatives? So instead, uh, this, what are other alternatives, for example, that you could use to bypass this? Of course, you don't want to do that. This is, we're talking about, we're, but you want to be able to detect whether or not uh, an output detector has been tricked, so to speak. We're in cybersecurity here and we're doing ethical stuff. Uh, another way could be to rephrase this or actually, so for example here, use secure storage. Store encrypted data in a secure storage location. If we just delete this, it still doesn't change much. So let's revert back to that. Store encrypted stuff. If instead of data we do stuff, this actually changes it a lot. So I think there is not much to say here other than use this for ethical purposes only.